How do you know that you are a higher order of being than a potato? What do you know about potatoes anyway? You've never studied potatoes, not really. I mean, you know, you know how to seed them and cultivate them, and dig them up and cook them and eat them. That's about it. But um, have you ever thought how a potato feels? Or say it doesn't feel, it's only a potato, it's got nothing to feel with. Wait a minute. When you put an electroencephalographic instrument on a potato or a lie detector, it sure registers on it. And uh, it, it will change when you do certain things. If you prick the potato, the thing will go yoing, yoing, yoing. If you shout at it, it'll do something. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you learn, you know how to turn on your alpha waves and you have a plant beside you which is linked up, it'll pick your alpha waves up. Maybe this thing isn't so stupid. We well, say, how can it be? It has no civilization. It has no house, it has no automobiles, it has no pianos, no art galleries, no religion. But the potato would say, I don't need them. It's you poor uncivilized human beings who have to have all this crap around you to tell you who you are and what it's all about. You're messy. You're cluttering up the planet with all your culture. But I, the potato, have it all built into me. Well, they say you that that's impossible because you're stuck in one place all the time. Now, how can you know anything about the world? I don't need to go running around because my sensitivity extends all over the place. And I want to introduce you to a few things. There's my neighbor over here who's a thistle. And have you ever seen how my thistle neighbor gets around? It has seeds. When the wind comes, these little tiny seeds have down sticking out all around them. And those seeds float off on the wind. And then my neighbor, the maple tree, has little helicopters it sends off and they spin in the air and they go off. And then um, I have a friend, the apple, and that has fruit that is so delicious that the birds like it. But this is only the beginning, the potato would go on to explain, of the extraordinary things that we do. We have vibrations going on inside our fibers that are quite as good as anything invented by your Bach and Mozart. We dig this. You may think we're not doing anything because we just sit here, but all the time, we are vibrating, we are in ecstasy. We are humming to the great hum that's going on everywhere. So you see, they may be in such an advanced state of consciousness that all unknown to you, angels are growing in a flower pot at your door. They may have a great deal to do with the way you think, all unbeknownst to you.